Welcome to Graphitorials. In today's video, you will learn how to design a Photoshop graphics from start to finish. Okay? So this fly on the screen, that's what we are going to work on today. So looking at this flyer, everything in this flyer, the background and everything was created in Photoshop. So there is no external background in this um, design, except the image, the phone images, image, system image and others. Okay? So I will teach you how to get everything done in Photoshop. So we we'll start wasting much of our time. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is to create um, our workspace. Okay. So to do so, go to File, New. So I'll be using 8 by 3, 8.3 by 11.7. So that's our, the, the flyer size. Okay. So let's change graphics. Let's say Photoshop graphics, Photoshop graphics. Photoshop graphics. Hit create. Okay. So first thing first, let's create the main background. So I, I want to pick color from this place. So I, I, I will tell you the color code so that. So, so this is the color code F E B B zero zero. That's the color code. Okay. So let's create. Um, grab the lap polygonal lasso too so let's start customizing our backgrounds so i told you everything in this design was customized there is no external background so i will teach you how to get everything done okay so this is the color code for this ff8702 okay so i see the color code here it's okay so select the layer mask grab your brush tool then clean this part so make sure this for background is in black okay so that you'll be able to clean the white space okay that's layer mask um, tricks for you okay so let's create um, another shape rectangle so Click like this, click like this, drop it here like this, hit enter. Okay, so go to adjustment layer, solid color. Okay, so let's use gradient, solid color, mm, adjustment layer, then select gradient, open the gradient, pick color. This is the color we'll use. Here will be darker red. Okay, see the color code 840902. Okay, so this place is a light red. Okay, see the color code FF2 F28. Okay, so it's okay. So go to this angle, change it to um, I want it to be angle 19, 19.43. Okay. I want this part to be a little more darker. Let's make it more darker. So see the new color code 750802. Okay. That's a new color code. So let's create new this. So let's say we have saved this new one we created now. Okay. So hit okay. Next, double click on it. Add stroke. So my stroke is in that eight. Change it to white outside normal so every other thing should be in default this place should be outside so that you get it if you get it like this okay uh, take it down a little bit Control s to save so always save your work so that you will lose your work if you are interrupted by light or if your system crashes okay so guys if you enjoy what i'm doing and um you have and you have learned new thing from my channel please subscribe to my channel 
like and share my video okay I hope you have done that. So let's continue. So next thing we'll do is let's create a rectangle, a long rectangle here. So we're here. So it should be here. Click on this um, color panel. Select this gradient. Let's pick this gradient. And change it to angle angle minus minus three like this. This is cool. Then close it, take it up a little bit so that it be a little bit wider. Okay. Control S to save. So let's begin importing our images. Go to file, place embedded. So I will bend link in the description so that you, you, you download everything I used for this project. All the resources I used for this, all these images and everything. So I will bend link in the description below so that you download all of them. And use it for your own um, training. Okay. Hit enter. So let's bring in other images. So I do it, keep it somewhere here. Hit enter. Place embedded. PS5. So I do it, keep it somewhere here. This is cool. Place embedded. Select the TV. I do it, keep it somewhere here. Oh, this is cool. Control T to transform. Free for free transform. Hit enter. Okay. Control S to save. So let's click on this area. Click on this area. Then create a new layer, empty layer. Grab your brush to open this um, color panel for background. Pick color from here. This is the color. Then let's paint in this color here somewhere here. Okay, so you see what I just done now. So I just painted um, this color under here. Okay, so grab your lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, and draw. Click and drag and join it here. Go to adjustment layer, solid color. Make sure it is this color. Pick it. Then Click on the layer mask, grab your brush tool, and clean this area. Okay, Control S to save. So let's begin typing in our um, test. Ember. Ember cell 50%. So take this up, up, up on all the layer. So I'll be using Montserrat. 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 Boot. So I will stay in bed links so that you'll be able to download this Montserrat. Okay. Hit enter. So let's adjust this. Open this test panel. Take this back a little. So that it will be a bit wider. Then bring this together. Okay. Then press Ctrl T to transform, increase the size a little bit, hit enter, take this back a little, then grab this rectangle to zoom this in, let's draw a, a tiny, a thin rectangle here, change the color to white. Okay, have you see what you just achieved now? Take this up a little. This is cool. So grab your test tool, click and drag. Sorry. So drag, drops, draw something like this so that you to 
um, bring out um, these default um, tests. This Photoshop default um, dummy test. This is that. This these are dummy tests. Things that doesn't make any sense. So these are dummy tests. That's what they are called. Okay. So keep it somewhere here. Make make it be in the same line with this ember. Control T to transform. Increase the size. Hit Enter. Control S to save. Okay, so let's bring this phone a little bit down. Okay, so this is cool. So let's begin typing in other tests. So let's bring in a logo. If we want to want to use it as logo. I shall use anything we like. So I want to use this as logo. So hold Shift. As you drag, drag it so that it won't, it won't lose shape. So hold shift. So you get a perfect square. Okay. So this is it. You see how beautiful it's, it's looking now. So let's begin typing in our tests. So let's type this in. Laptop. Let's draw a dummy test here for a little, let's use it for just description, description example. I'll keep it here so let's type in the amount 340 ctrl t to transform it hit enter so select the three three tests and align them to the center. Okay, so bring it under this control T to transform it. Increase the size a little. So select the three and group them so that all of them will be in a group. I like grouping my work so that it will look more organized and I can also identify the layers easily. Okay. So this is it. Control T to transform it, increase it more. Hit enter. So we'll be changing the color test test um, color. So select the tray, click on the test to then change the color. So bring it down a little. So let's duplicate this layer. Control J to duplicate it. Bring it under this. So let's remove this PlayStation. PlayStation 5. Take it, align it to the center. Change the price, the price tag to, let's say, 510. Okay, so we get this, this again, Control J. Then bring this here. Change this to Plasma TV. Plasma. TV. Change this to 210. 210. So this is it. So this area is done now. It's done. Control S to save it. So let me group all this so that they will be 
more organized. The images and the test, control G to group them. So all of them is in the group, in a group now. So let me take this out from the group. Hold C, hold control and click on any, um, any, um, anything in your work, in your work area so that you, um, the, the, the layer will select automatically. Okay. So load control and click on anything so that you select it automatically. So I just clicked on this um, rectangle and it's selected automatically. If your own is not working, that means this is selected. This is auto select. So you select it, then hold control and click to select it. Okay. So I want to take it out from the group. So I want only this image to be in the group. Okay. So this is it. So this area for this area, let me group them. Control G to group. So this this are a different category. Okay, so let me add this to the group too. They are in a different category. You see it. So I'm categorizing all my works so that it will look more organized. Okay, control S to save. So let me let's um, bring in all, all, the, all the remaining. Um, stuffs we use for this project. So, so let's type this on the website dot com. Control T to transform, increase the size. Change the color to white. Then group group is hold control, select the two layer and group the control G to for group. Control T to transform it, reduce it a little. Control J to duplicate it. So let's change this to a number. Hold, hold shift and add this plus. Okay, so let's find um, a, a, a telephone icon so that I will put it there. Okay, so let's look for it. If your own is not showing all this icon, you can easily go to this area or, or then show do append to show all the icons. Okay, that is not uh, here to show everything. So do type, so let me change this. Okay, let's pick this. This is the telephone icon. So I drop it here. Hold shift as you drag. So you may get the perfect shape. So delete this. Select it and move it up. Okay. So let's zoom in. Use the shift and um, use the space key to move your screen. Click and select the test to then drag. Let's um, bring in a dummy test here. Increase the size to increase the size a little bit. So this is it. Control S to save. So let's enhance this design. Hold Control Shift Alt, then press E to merge all this layer to a single layer. Okay, go to File Camera Raw. Increase this. Go to Color Mixing. Increase the reds. Make sure this select 
saturation is selected increase the red increase the orange yellow so I increase this the iPhone is containing these colors so let's increase them so that our design will pop out more it's okay so this is it Control s to save so so guys this is the end of today's tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial hit this smash the subscribe button like and share this um, video okay thanks for watching see you guys next time